back to another vlog. Today we are going to be running errands. Just finished getting ready, had a lovely kind of lazy morning, but also productive. I edited two TikToks, which I've been needing to do. I'm trying to upload every day on TikTok. It's not as easy as you would think because TikToks are short videos, but for some reason, I feel like I always just put it off and it's in like the back of my mind. So I was really happy to get both of those edited. I did a little bit of laundry, finished getting ready, and here we are. It's about 11 o'clock. I am about to go head to a nail appointment in Long Island. In my last video, I mentioned that I needed to get them done and I still do and I actually broke one off yesterday. So it was definitely a priority for today. I'm not really sure what I'm thinking. I think I'm either gonna go more neutral or French tips. I'm like kind of torn between the two. I just feel like I'm a little over the vibrant colors and I'm just ready for like some fall time. Like I hate to say that too soon because I don't really want it to get too much colder but it has just been ridiculously hot here in New York. It's literally 90 every single day, super humid or it's storming. Anyways, while I'm doing that, Spencer's gonna go get a haircut and then we're just gonna run a few other errands, maybe get some groceries. We need to get a car wash and then I think we're also gonna go to Marshall's. So I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys along on my day and I wanted to show you guys a few things that we recently got in for the business because we did get quite a few things recently just from thrifting. We went to an estate sale, so I just wanna show you guys a few things in case any of you are interested. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the coolest things I think we've gotten in recently. Um, we've been trying to pick up more winter wear just because we're already selling coats I've noticed which is crazy But a coat we recently picked up is this mother fur coat, which I thought was really cool I got this at Buffalo exchange and on the back it has zero one just a really fun Piece I feel like for the winter time something I typically don't see from mother I usually just find their jeans We have gotten in a lot of st. John recently like literally so much. This is only a portion of it um, and then a few other things I have to show you guys that you guys are, I think are amazing is like, for example, this Burberry trench coat. It is just unbelievable. Um, it has these stripes down the front. It's belted in the front and also in the back. Such a gorgeous trench coat. Another amazing coat we got in recently is this Montclair coat, which believe it or not, we actually got at Buffalo Exchange. It was an insane find and we are so lucky to get it. It does have some minor flaws, like some fraying here at this little buckle, but the fur at the top is just so cool. And then it also has some fur trim down here at the bottom. Definitely need to take a lint roller to it. Um, but a super nice puffer coat. I'm really excited for this because Montclair sells very, very well for us. And then we also have gotten in some like other Burberry trench coats. We got in this leather Tory Burch jacket, which is really nice. So we've been busy trying to get a lot of this listed. Another thing we recently got in is a lot of Peruvian connection sweaters. They're like, a lot of them are this like nice, heavy alpaca knit, which I'm excited to get on. Personally, not my style, but I do think that there is a pretty big audience for this brand. So I'm excited to get these on and get these listed for the fall and winter time. Today, I'm just dressed super casual. I have on this black tank top from Zara, this Aritzia little jacket, which is super comfy and I'm obsessed. And then I'm wearing my Reformation jeans, going for a casual running errands look but we do have to go because my nail appointments coming up pretty soon and we still have to drive all the way to Long Island so let's go Spencer just picked me up I got my nails done I actually went with this nude more natural color which is something I haven't done in months for the past like three or four months I've literally gotten like neon colors I've had ombre all of the above so to have something natural like this is really different for me but I don't know I kind of like it it's nice for a change I'm sure I'll go back to something a little either brighter or darker next time Spencer also got a haircut he looks super handsome but we are on our way to go get some lunch it's 1 30 I think we're gonna go to our favorite spot out on Long Island it's called organic crush it's basically all organic healthy foods but it really just like tastes genuinely so good so i'm very excited We just sat down and got our food at Organic Crush. I got my favorite sweet potato bowl. I asked for one egg over easy, they gave me two. Not too mad about it. Their sauce is literally so good. Spencer got a frittata, looks bomb. He gets it like every time. And then we also are sharing this tonic juice. Okay, next for our errand run is to go to Marshall's. Not really looking for anything specific. 
specific. <laughs> just wanna shop around, see what we can find, maybe look for some apartment decor. I'm really looking forward to whenever their next yellow tag sale is, but I haven't really heard when that is. So I'm just gonna keep checking online. this because I've been looking for a little basket just to put all of Lucy's toys in because right now they're literally just scattered around the living room. So now I've got Spencer with me and we're a little torn because we kind of like this one just because it's a little fluffier. It feels nicer but this is the one I had and now we're kind of thinking this because it's taller so it would kind of hide her toys more compared to this where you may kind of see them sticking out. Not that it's the biggest deal but now we're just trying to figure out which one would match the best. Back in the car from Marshalls. Figured I'd go ahead and show you guys really quick what we got. We ended up getting the tall white basket just so you can see her toys. And then for her, we also got her a cute little new raccoon. Spencer picked it out. Got a good squeaker. Sorry if your dog's at home just squeaked because of that. Um, and then this is the eye cream I've been using and loving. It's an Olay Regenerist um, Revitalizing Eye Serum. So I use this at night and in the morning and I was running out. So I picked up more. Spencer got these little flossers. And then I also got a candle. It's from the brand Sand and Fog. It's in the scent chai. It smells like cinnamon, warm. I'm telling you guys, I've got to quit. It's still summer. I don't know why I'm like this, but always. I'm always want to be a season ahead. I need to just enjoy the season that we're in. But I think now we're going to go get a car wash and maybe get some coffee. I kind of want to get a matcha. And I am so excited to go through a drive through Ever since we moved to Brooklyn, I have been missing drive throughs I feel like I just didn't appreciate how convenient and easy they are. And now that we have to walk everywhere, I'm missing them. So I'm looking forward to a Dunkin' Donuts drive through Hi, can I get a medium ice matcha latte with almond milk? Yay! I gotta say, Duncan's matcha is actually like so, so good and underrated. One of the best. It's definitely a little sweet, but seriously, like 10 out of 10. Update, we decided against the car wash just because simply we don't want to get one. And now we are at Target, <laughs> literally shopping. Um, we just picked up like a few random things. We needed like laundry detergent and kombucha and just like random things like that. So I'm telling you guys, just a totally random day in my life running errands. That's all, I think now we're gonna head back to the apartment and get some work done. What's up guys, we are back at the house now. It's currently 6 p.m. Um, I just walked Lucy, Spencer actually dropped me off at the apartment. He is still looking for a spot. This is one of the downsides of living in New York. But he did run in Whole Foods real quick to pick us up dinner just because I didn't really feel like cooking tonight. But at the same time, we didn't really feel like going out anywhere. So he ran into Whole Foods, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a little haul, which honestly, this is gonna be a surprise for me too because I didn't go in. Um, but he picked up some shishito peppers. This isn't for tonight, probably another night, but they're the bomb. We're like obsessed, we're on this big kick with them. And then he also picked us up a rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chickens. I don't know if you guys are with me on that. And then I think he picked up like some sides, which it looks like they got smashed from the other stuff. So I don't know who was bagging this, but not the best job. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but it looks super good. Really excited to eat. And hopefully he'll find parking soon because he's been looking for like 15 minutes now. I'm hoping he's gonna build my entryway table because I've had it for like a week and a half now. And we also still have our little like wall hangings, which I think I showed you guys in my last vlog. Um, I would like to get these hung as well. I think we're gonna hang them here. And I also need to put this laundry away. I just had some things drying. Lucy's very happy that we're home. She's all in a good mood. She's just wondering where her daddy is. Right, Woos? Look at that baby face. You're so cute. You're so cute. She doesn't even know she got a new toy yet today, guys. And you got a basket for your toys. Yeah, you did. Trying to decide which of Lucy's toys she's keeping. Some of them have been chewed a little bit too much, but they're like her favorite, so it's really hard to decide which ones to get rid of. Look at her tail wagging. Um, but while we were watching, or while we were eating dinner, we were watching My Unorthodox Life on Netflix. We're on episode five. It's honestly really interesting, and I definitely recommend watching it. We're about to give Lucy her new toy, and she is like freaking out. Here, let me give it to her. Hey, down. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> sit, sit. Lucy, sit. Good girl. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so cute. She's looking for the squeaker. Look. Get it. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of listing, probably only for like an hour or so. It's already 7.30, but I just wanna get something on because we haven't really done much work today, as you guys probably noticed. Um, I am burning my new chai candle. It smells really good. Lucy's just absolutely thrilled. Don't mind the trash, we need to take that out. Um, but she's so happy with her new toy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna type out some listings and Spencer's gonna build my new entryway table tonight So I am very excited to say the least one of my 30 minute thrift challenge TikToks. It's a series that I've been doing for a few weeks now and I feel like they do pretty well. They get around like, my last one got like 5,000 views which I was pretty happy with. So I posted one on the Goodwill um, on 25th Street, I believe. And then Spencer also put together our entryway table. I think it looks pretty good. It's honestly shorter than we had imagined. Don't mind the mess. Um, but I think it'll be okay once we put like a circle mirror here and kind of decorate it a little bit. I think it looks good though. Just need to clean up all the little stuff that came out of the box. But definitely matches like the living room because the living room, coffee table, and side table, you guys know, are like the glass with the black, so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I did get some work done. You guys saw I got some stuff listed. I also did some laundry. Spencer finished building the entryway table. I posted a TikTok, so I would say overall it was a pretty successful night, pretty productive. Um, so I think now I'm gonna go make some tea and take a bath. I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day. I hope you guys weren't too bored just running around running errands with me. Um, I think tomorrow we may go thrifting in the city, so hopefully I'll have time to vlog that. I know you guys love watching those, um, so make sure you're subscribed. That way you can be notified of whenever that video goes live. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa